Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the Drake Michigan podcast and we've got a special bonus footage video what we're putting together for you here today. Such was the response a few weeks ago when we had the magical David Ian Rogers, the Joker, uh, the Aoka, the amazing person himself. But your response and the comments we got and the feedback, you all said you wanted more. Well, here at Drake, Michigan, we aim to deliver. Now, we were fortunate enough. I had a friend who wanted to experience a session. He wanted to release all of his trauma from his past. Childhood trauma, the death of his parents, uh, his mother, um, uh, the death of his close friends. So a lifetime of mixed trauma, divorces, um, bringing children up on his own. Let's just say he had a little bit more than most. Now, what he didn't know a month ago when he booked in for this session, that was just over two weeks ago, he was going to drop dead. That would have spoilt today's video. Fortunately, another good friend of mine was there to perform CPR, keep him alive until the ambulance got there. And I'm proud to say, and I'm so happy to say, that my best friend here is sat here alive and well. So thanks to Dean and thanks to Dave, we are going to put together a fantastic show of a treatment by the amazing Hayoka, Davy and Rogers, just for you. And then we can get them back after and see the results and see if all this trauma can be cleared from Dean. Uh, and we're going to bring you the results. OK, enjoy. Welcome, everybody. And what an amazing day we have had here at the Drake Michigan Again. headquarters. Oh, uh, I mean, these days are just getting better and better. We're so we're so lucky and fortunate. Um, now we before we sent out to the room, we did a little introduction, and we had the amazing David Ian Rogers. Uh, again, <laughs> again, because because you, the viewers, wanted him. You've been asking so many questions. You want to know more, and we said we will deliver, and we are delivering. And what we did was we sent my friend Dean out to have a session with the amazing Hayoka Dave Ian Rogers, which you can, by the way, get on his website, watch the videos, check him out. Try and get an appointment, but I'm not going to guarantee you because <laughs> the, the list is getting longer by the day. We'll get in there. But what we want to know, listen, I know from a personal level, my friend Dean has had a life of, let's say, turmoil. It's been a life of what most people would say, shit after shit after shit, with one or two little bits of happiness. So what better way, you know, to put Dave to the test was to shove Dean in front of him and say, was this, see, a, was this a big test? This was, was a big test. <laughs> you know, it's almost like, see what you can do with that sucker. You know what I mean? He's like, Let, let's see what you can do with this damaged goods. <laughs> I mean, when, when I talk about damaged, we're talking about like an Amazon parcel, what's been kicked around and put outside your front door, right? That's the kind of level of trauma we're talking. So without further ado, let's find out if anything happened, how are we doing, guys? Not bad. Dave was knackered. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, just for those who are not watching on video, let me just describe the scene. So, first of all, I've got Critch sat to the side of me. And then over to my left here, I've got my friend Dean, whose his eyes look like a, uh, the bottom of a beer glass. Right? Um, <laughs> They're, they're completely glazed. He seems like he's in a different world at the moment. He, he walked into the room with a smile on his face that I've not seen in 30 years um, when he saved a goal um, uh, in a football <laughs> match. Um, that, that's the like, kind of level of... Ex it, it, the smile is radiant. Come on, Dean, what's happened? And, 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 and let's just bear in mind, everyone here, two weeks ago, Dean was clinically dead. Clinically dead. I went down to Birmingham in ICU to go and see him to say my taras, and he's here. He's on our couch, and next to him we've got the wonderful, amazing David Ian Rogers, who looks like 
he's gone 10 rounds with Tyson he looks <laughs> knackered right so I'm, I'm thinking this was a challenge he's like what did you pull out of him right and, and you know what? That, <laughs> let, let's get over to him well, nothing was pulled out of me. Pulled out, pulled off, who knows? <laughs> Dave, let's come to you, my friend. <coughs> um, it was effortless, wasn't it? Effortless. Um, when they say, uh, or anybody who's worked with me, before I work with them, I always ask them two questions. Are you, do you know you need help? Yeah, from boy, do I need help? Do you want the help? A lot of people have said in the past, oh, I don't know, hmm. because they've never experienced working with me. Um, they were criteria, as you know. Yes, mm-hmm. definitely. Um, because, I can, can I just say there, Dave, a lot of people, when it comes down to it, don't really want to heal their traumas because they know they've got to change. A lot of people like to play the same old victim record over and over again. It takes a very person who's ready to say, let's do this shit. Let's get rid of it. I want my life to change. For sure. And you feel that, don't you? Yeah, I I know instantaneously um, whether somebody wants to change. And it's because of where I've been. And when you've, as Dean will vouch for now, when you've had the before, the during, and then after this process, you're like, what happened there? And... (laughs) <laughs> For me, we've we've drained ourselves because we've been laughing that much. Oh, tremendous! That's brilliant. That's what we've been doing. Yeah, I can't agree more. It, yeah. And you, you like, and it, it's a level of taking the piss that I do I at love it. the trauma that tricks the mind into laughing at it as well, even though they're experiencing. It, they're going, he's so the business. <laughs> Because the mind can't get the bad feeling back, and that's what I'm doing. I'm testing it. Yeah. So, in 17 years in, I, I'm still incredulous that how I feel, how I know from my own experience, just sitting with somebody who's who's done all the emotions and cleared them all out, which is what the process is about, really clearing all the A to Z of negative emotions which the mind creates in here mm. in the first seven years, and we're unaware that it just keeps us locked into the anger, the abuse, the betrayal, and we keep attracting the same experiences, yeah. locked in the cycle. And what he does once that feeling's gone, you can't. Again, Dean will vouch for it. Mm-hmm. it you just can't. You just you ask him to go back to the view, and they go. <laughs> I thought I was working with Tommy Cooper at one point because all you could get out <laughs> sure of it was... Yeah. <laughs> so so we, before, we, before we just come back to you there, Dave, because so, obviously people are now... Have, um, this is the second fantastic time we've got to meet you. Um, so people are starting to understand what a session is and, and um, get to getting to know you as a person. But let's now talk to a client. So now what we've had now, what we're going to share with you is somebody who has actually put themselves in there, had a session by the amazing Hayoka, that is Dave. So, Dean, you went into this session today, and I've got to be honest, listen, I'm not just saying this. You look like a different person than that walked out this door. You Literally, you, when I'm looking at you now, you look lighter, mm-hmm. you look brighter, you look fresher. It does look lighter. There's more of a, a vibrance to you. Now, whether that's your energy, whether that's, I don't know. But so, how do you feel you walked out, you've walked in? I mean... Yeah, before before you left, how did you feel? First of all, before you were going in, because before you left as well, you wanted five minutes on your yeah. own, didn't you? Yeah, you absolutely. just wanted to. Was that to compose yourself and? <sighs> yeah, the um, yeah. David said a specific couple of words that sort of I don't know, sort of uh, it sort of got me. I had to have five minutes. It, it's yeah. as simple as that. Mm-hmm. Was that because you was was you was you worried that certain things might come up that you wasn't ready to deal with? Or I weren't worried about that. No, you were worried about I'm, that. I'm, you wanted, wanted to. Oh, so you was right. Oh, you basically said, "Look, I know I've got some shit, and I want to deal yeah, with it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was your mind. That's a fantastic mindset because a lot of people can't do that. That's true. You know what I mean? They're not prepared to go that deep within themselves and say, "Let's deal with this shit." No, I've, I've been wanting that for. A long time, a long, long and, time, and a lot of people will want that as well. I go for it. I, I can't. I can't. 
I can't say it enough that if you get the chance, do it. Just so, 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 d- just what's the call? So, I mean, talk us through now. So, so you, you've left this room, you know, you've gone into the, the, the other room where you've been able to sit with Dave and you've had a bit of a chat and got, you know, said hello to each other. And then you've had a session. And when did you really first start to feel like something's happening here? What the fuck's going on? If you're enjoying everything that we're doing here at Drake, Michigan, please subscribe, ring my bell, and let's enjoy this journey together. Because Dave, when you first meet Dave, it's it's like it, like with the faces and the noises and you start to yeah, think, yeah. what the fuck? But what he's doing <laughs> is he's like breaking down barriers, isn't yes. it? Mm. He's, he's uncovering layers. He's pulling the onion back. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He fucking knows. And he's what's the call? He's getting right in there. And he and he's he's going deep. And he's looking to confront your darkest things and saying, come on, motherfucker. We're going to have a little chat. <laughs> right? And that's what he does, doesn't he? Yeah, 100%. But without chatting. Mm. Without... Yeah. So tell, tell us... I know, I know at the moment you're very... You, you, you're probably on like cloud nine or very you feel full of energy at the minute. You're full of energy, full of energy. Full of energy. Can, can you, can you, is there certain points that you can tell us about during the session what you want to share with us? Like anything that I mean, a bit what I want, I want people to get like someone who's going to sign up and get on that phone and say, Look, I need to go and see this fucking who's this fucker who can change my <laughs> life, right? You know, if you're an advert. What do you say to him? What do what, I mean, what from the first, literally from the first when he started clearing it and stuff like that? I felt a change straight away. Physically, mentally, you felt something was happening. Yeah, if I'm, yeah, if did you really? Listen, I know you, Dean. You, you you would sit here now and turn around and go fucking fuck all up and get fucking bullshit. I know you would if that's you if, know, yeah 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 that's the type of person you are. But you're not. You're sat here, and I can tell something's fucking happened. So, Is, well, I mean, yeah. I let me take you to a. Let me take you. Let me just. Okay, because I know you, and I want people to know that I know you. So I know stuff about your life. Yeah. <laughs> I know you lost your mum to cancer. Yeah. Gail was fucking out. Great woman, right? Did that? Did that come up? Uh. Yeah. Is, is there issues there? No. How do you feel about that? Uh. Right. D- divorce. See, I know. Let Let's go some of the things yeah. I know in your divorce. life. Divorce. Yeah, right. one divorce. <laughs> right. No, so listen. Hey, first of all, let Let's go backwards. So we, I know, in your life, in the last couple of weeks, you died. Yeah. I know you've been br- you've brought up your two sons practically on your own for a long time. For, for a fair while. Yeah. You divorced from your wife because your wife, unfortunately, uh, um, it wasn't her fault at work. She was attacked and it left her mentally traumatized. Completely. And I think she needs to book him for a session. Uh, <laughs> do you know what? She's what massive. I mean, she lost her voice for 12 months. She was beat that bad. I mean, she was... Uh, it literally put her on another level of um, mental uh, mental issues, didn't what it? Caused PTSD, she, she caused She caused mass yeah. stroke. She was, like, living in a fantasy land at one point, exactly wasn't she? That, she yeah. was it really deep stuff mm. um, because she got beat by someone. Yeah. She got attacked, didn't she? Yeah. Um, but you lived through all that. And that was traumatic. I remember, and I know you've gone through losing your your properties, your house, your finances, your cars, and you've gone through struggles uh, with uh, you know um, police. Have you had and, any good luck? <laughs> no, and and and, 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 and do you know what? This I said. Unfortunately, Dean's had one of them lives. But and I will say this to you, Dean: there's a reason why people are given so much shit. It's usually so they can help other people yeah, yeah. in the future yeah, yeah. who have to go through shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and there's so, a chance now. Yeah. And, and also as well, because only a few weeks ago, no, I, I say a few weeks, about three months ago, you said to me, Kev, what's all this stuff that you're into? I'm, I've, you've done it for like 15 years. Yeah, I've listened to all your bullshit. I'm actually <laughs> beginning to believe there might be something in it. Well, that, don't, that was 12 months ago. <laughs> yeah, that was it 12 it was, months, crikey. But you did when say, I the car. That, oh, that's oh. right. Yeah, you crashed the car. And, and you said, Kev, I want to change my life. What do you want me to do? And I said, you know, we, you need to sit down, start meditating, start asking, start watching some of these videos. Mm. And the universe always delivers. I didn't realise it was going to kill you, um, but it did. It yeah. do, sometimes it delivers in unexpected ways. Yeah. Um, your life is definitely on a different path now, isn't it? It's yeah. I mean, yeah. 
obviously I can't say too much about the crash, <laughs> if I'm really honest. <laughs> I've been to court and had all that done, like. But from then, I, well, you asked me to believe you. I did. You, you I, asked did, I did ask you. Yeah. yeah. Which I did. Yeah. So yeah. I took advice from you. I done whatever you was telling me to do, whatever, you know, so that's what I changed my path. Okay. And then... So let's go back into that. So is there certain things now that come up in that co in your session of healing with Dave that you could go back to now and it's like, because what Dave does is he takes the feelings and he takes, them, he takes the memory and the feeling and separates it, doesn't he? Mm, yeah, completely. So certain things that have happened in your life, can you think of any of them things from that session now and try and put the feeling back to it? No. <laughs> Tell me, tell me one thing that you dealt with in there. I know, and obviously, listen, I don't want to go do any it's your personal stuff, but tell me one thing that you talked about that you've ripped out and dealt with. A big one for me was guilt towards my children. Okay. So, so, that, so the guilt towards your children, like I, I suppose you felt like you let them down, you yep. failed them, yep. you've not given them everything. Yep. How do you feel now about it? It's like an indifference, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's. This I'm trying my hardest too, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I can't. And yeah, is it? It's, it's like the words have gone into it. It's com yeah, like the like, feeling, like the when, words. When we had the, when, when you had your session and, and you was trying to explain to me, it, it's I can't. I can go there, but I can't. You I can't. Got, you can't attach that entity. Yeah, that's right. With, with the that, with that gut, the memory, that gut. Sort of feeling of the pain, yeah, all that. Yeah, hey, good to get rid of that. <laughs> it's oh, it's hey. fantastic, I'll tell you. Hey, that that's more good. than this weight. <laughs> did, did, uh, did, did, you, did you feel like you've literally had uh, a weight lifted off your shoulders? Do you, do you feel like whatever has been burdening you and holding you down, do you think it's been taken away? Completely, yeah. I mean, we don't, I forget what it, we've done a specific thing, and the minute. All the laughing and all that one of like that. It was it was there was just a rush of energy, just yeah. a complete rush of energy. Beautiful. So let Dave, let's bring you back in here. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing to people, man? <laughs> Nothing. Dave, in the tarot deck, <laughs> there's the magician. Yes. And he has his tools on the table. Yes. <laughs> you are the fucking magician. <laughs> you are the Joker of the pack. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. Everybody in the world. First of all, they need to know about Drake, Michigan. Um, <laughs> but then they need to know about Dave, Ian, Rogers, the, Aow the Aow Awaka, Awoka. You've lost your mind. I don't know. I don't <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's just, I, I don't think people comprehend what the fuck's going on here. It's, it is it is life-saving stuff, this. Oh, Completely. Life what, if, what, if, what if people... Listen, I know... So let's, let, let's take someone who's lost kids in an accident. Mm -hmm. Listen, you don't want to lose that pain sometimes because that feels you alive and attached to them. Correct. Do you know what I mean? So there's certain things people... I can understand that. I don't... If I... I, I you, would, you don't want to have it ripped away because that makes you... But certain things in life, like, I don't know, business loss, uh, relationship breakdowns, uh, parent loss... You just, these Addiction things are holding you back. Food, drink, Addiction, drugs, gambling, yeah. Heroin, cocaine. No one's addicted to any of that. That's what I'm saying. Outside so you, yourself. You go yeah. deep into a person. Any, 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 yeah. It's the th add addiction, add words to a habit or a behaviour outside of yourself. Oh my God, I need this. I've got to have this. Da, 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 da. That's, well, that's what we're disconnecting. Mm. And I'm not disconnecting it. I disconnected my own and pieced it together how the hell that went. And now I just guide others in answer to your question, what the hell am I doing? I'm guiding others to do the, exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. That's how I know it works. And it this definitely is, works. <laughs> is, well, the thing is now, so I've seen you, I, I, this is the second time I've met you. So on the first occasion, you did a, 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 a demonstration session um, or a little session with Anthony. Yeah. And I know since then, because I keep questioning him every day, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? And he went, there's just nothing there. And then I know uh, Critch was at Carry On Camping the weekend and he was speaking to people and he said, and they said, I went and saw that Dave. And then they were like, how do you feel? And they went, well, I remember it, but there's no attachment to it. Uh, do you know what I mean? And then it's like, what the, what the fuck's going on here? It's amazing. You know I mean? it's, it it's, like, it's like opening your wallet. 
and all your money's gone. Which to me that would be whoa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what though, you'd empty your wallet to remove that trauma. You'd empty your wallet. How, 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 money how can comes you, back. How you know can you put I mean? a value? You can't put a value no. on someone's time of like if your life now goes on and you like you're not being held back by stuff, you can't put a price on that. No, it's no. it's the it's the very thing that if you're to go really deep and think about life it's the very thing that you've come here as a soul, a spirit, your breath, to, if if this is a dimension of torture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to experience the bad emotions, and if you've come here to no longer be a slave to those emotions, as Dean and everybody in this room <laughs> has experienced now, <coughs> you, you'll you'll have achieved part one of your life purpose, which is to clear and no longer be a slave to those emotions. And you can't. Yeah. That's why every time you ask him a question, you'll go, how's you feeling about it? And you go, <laughs> subconscious. He's yeah. cleared the subconscious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just emotional freeing connection people. to those memories, yeah. which he can't get back. So that's, can I just ask you, Dave, a little bit out of the box, if you like, because we hear people talk about, uh, people have bought stuff back from past lives. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, I've bought this trauma through and this trauma through. Is there anything what you do? Yeah. I, it's, it's, can you go back to other people, like the the, the ancestor trauma, and say, <laughs> I'll have that as well, thank you? Yeah, this this is this is the game changer because whether you were a butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker in any of the previous lifetimes, any of the centuries the common denominator is the bad, abused, betrayed, cheated on, depressed, envious, jealous, mm -hmm. fearful, all the negative emotions from all of those lifetimes. Once you disconnect from it, you ain't coming back to repeat Satan's little game. Wow. And, 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 and also, apart so you, from that, it's a complete waste of time doing but the, it. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't is, know why anybody so would want to book For people who sort of um, understand you, that, you've also freed the ancestors. Oh, you're, yeah, you basically, Dean, anyone who's done all those negative emotions has basically could come here to show his children... Somebody has to he's do be the he's one. Emptied. He couldn't look in someone's eyes. He's like, I tell you, he's like, it looks like a psychopath yeah. now looking at me. That was one of his <laughs> issues. And he's like, ah, looking at me. And he's got no fear around it. No, yeah. he's just like, I don't have more here to do that. And that's the power of it, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. And you're completely at peace. And you, you literally, you're ending the, the psychic curse, the generational curse that the doctors say. It's not. It's you've chosen the same. Two teachers of abuse. You chose the parents because you knew that dad was this and mum had these issues. And you come back, you'll have the same issues or the victim of these issues. And you'll have the same life lessons that you had when you were uh, Marie Antoinette, Attila the Hun, or whenever you were in those previous lifetimes. And rather than tell the story, have you got the bad feeling? Yeah, well, you'll, you'll never have to come back. You may choose to come back. I've definitely chosen to come back to wake up to service uh, yes mm -hmm. and service a life of service yeah there, there's so many psychics about this my wife has said when are you going to get paid for doing all this and I'm like oh, I don't want to get paid they don't appreciate me so I don't want the fucking money and that's what I said to certain characters in sports and uh, all the other industries where I've worked and because they've not valued it and not appreciated what it, you think it's you, and I've gone, no, it's the process. It works every time. Can I just what's <laughs> good, Dave, as well? So, like, I mean, I've always thought, so, you know what, sometimes, like, in America, you see these churches where the, the, the you know, the, the, oh, they touch them, oh, they're all shaking and they all fall down on the floor and all that I kind of stuff. I you were going to be like that. Well, the thing is, I've, I mean, I always thought, what a load of bullshit, <laughs> right? But, but the thing is, that actually might be, but the energy and what the potential of what could be happening. Because what I'm seeing here, now listen to me here. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm seeing Saturday Night Live. Oh, listen. Saturday Night Live it's with Dave. Me. Dave, Davey and Rogers there, <laughs> Hayoka live. And what we could do is we could have several people and we could go, oh, you're healed, you're healed, you're healed, you're healed. And then they could, oh, and then. That's the powerful thing because... There's no need to to touch anybody because that 
when people say, what a heel you are, Dave, and I go, no, no. No, no, I don't mean touch. I mean, we're not Prince Andrew kind of folk stuff. <laughs> the fucking hell. I mean, like, you know. Yeah, I know exactly. You know what I mean, going. don't you? Yeah, because vicariously, big word for a Thursday afternoon or any afternoon. <laughs> but what I mean by that is you're watching the screen, watching me um, guide someone to clear the, whatever the emotion, because we're clearing the emotional feeling because that's the glue inside the body in the central nervous system that holds the memory in place. And once we've done the yes and the no to creating the bad feeling, does it make sense? Is it on all the other the two questions that I asked repeatedly for the, all the emotions? Once they've said yes and no, all three minds open up and the breath comes in, disconnects it, dissolves it for good after four or five times of doing it. And the long and the short of it is the reason why they can't get it back is because the Holy Spirit, the breath, the soul is the one and the same. That's the omnipotent holy power of the Holy Spirit, clearing whatever dis-ease you think you've got, mental or physical, mm. whether it's um, tics, Tourette's, ADHD, bipolar, all they are is trapped memories or hallucinations of other entities, intrusions. We had one of them, didn't we? We I, did, I had yeah. about six or seven of them. Myself, when I was going through it, just to make sure that I cleared it, and uh, all kinds of characters coming in. It's going, oh, yeah, you think you're this now, don't you? You have to do this, you have to do that. And this process clears that as well. And once you're trauma-free, even the entities go, oh, God, he's empty. And they know because they see the trauma person because they they can see the person, oh, yeah, and they hide behind the memory and just repeat the same thoughts that they see in the memory because the entities can go into the memory and go, oh, he's, that's what he's... So that's the words there, the words he uses, the thoughts he uses that creates the bad feeling. So they repeat it. It's all crazy. It's amazing. amazing. Dave. Yes. Dean. Yes. I'm, I'm sure people are going to just find this amazing. And Dean, worth it? 100%. You tell You're everybody about it? as many as I can as many people as I can physically tell and Dave I just have to thank you it's been a pleasure to have you and your wife here today always great energy what an absolute fantastic Brilliant day, day. Brilliant and day. you know what if that if you've healed my mate then I'm happy as well you've you've literally saved his life you've literally no saved, you've guided you saved your own life correct but you guided you guided you guided as well that's you. right boys and girls tell everybody <laughs> Drake Michigan <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd be authentic <laughs>